Michel Garcia. I'm involved in natural dyes since almost 30 years. I would like to share uh, some experiments with you about silk. Silk is a wonderful uh, matter. It's a very original fiber which uh, offers us a, an incredible range of possibilities for natural dyes. So I'm very pleased today to uh, introduce you to some aspect of uh, natural dyes on silk. So reading old, old traditional books, I got the evidence that when Europeans discovered silk, they were a bit astonished because they tried first to adapt uh, the world technologies they knew and they have seen that it was different. So they discovered interesting ingredients. So we will review some of them, like anato for orange shades and uh, safflower for pinks and um, different others and also over all the art of combining all of them. So we will have plain dyes, about 50 different shades from uh, classical uh, ingredients like cochineal, madder, and others like uh, pagoda tree, uh, alkanet. Mo most of the dye stuff we will use are very specific for silk because they cannot be used for wool. So that could be original for uh, the investigator uh, to discover how to combine them on silk. So we will have plain dyes and we will also um, have an approach of how to print on silk. Printing natural dyes on silk is extremely interesting because we can combine uh, what we call mordants, so they are mineral uh, additives together with the current matters to get a kind of everything in one with a sickening agent. Then we will print these and we will get a full range of shades from that and then we will learn how to combine some of them. So this is an invitation to investigate more. Of course, some examples will be given, but we cannot cover all types of combination. So here is the creativity. We will give the rules um, of uh, green chemistry to combine these colors and to adapt and fix them. We will also present a physical uh, method to fix the colors, which is a steaming process. So with a very cheap apparatus that everybody can make by itself, by uh, oneself with a um, chimney pipe and a few, uh, a few little things easy to find, you will see that by steaming, you can fix the colors correctly and keep them for uh, uh, long on the fabric, which is also washable and uh, stable to life. These are some of the colors we did. Um, so let's talk about some of them. So the blue... Shades of blue with indigo. Indigo blue for over dyeing. Saxony blue indigo carmine. Yellows and greens, indigo with Sephora. Reds, purple and yellows with traditional mordant dyes. Reddish brown with Koch.
Printing on silk. So, you know, understanding the order, understanding the whole processes is very crucial if you like uh, to make a palette. So I would invite you to consider that each plant is unique, each composition um, of plant is unique. So there are different processes that you can use for each one, depending on your project. So there's a kind of grammar that the dyers could, could uh, pay attention to.